Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah from Pies and Pros and today we're going to be going through a really really long list of activities, things to do during the winter slash holiday season. So I sat down and I tried to think of every single possible thing that one could do during the winter slash holiday season. I think I have nearing 40 things on this list that I'm about to share with you and I'm really excited to share it with you because I think it's going to put everybody in a nice festive wintry season and I know it's sometimes hard to enjoy the season for what it is especially the winter time so hopefully this brings a little bit of joy into your winter before we actually get started into this I know it's going to be a lot of things on this list like I said so I created a notion template that you can literally go into the description box of this video take that notion template copy and paste it and you'll have every single thing that i mentioned today in your own notion so you can cross off you can edit you can do whatever you want with this template it's yours to use and it'll have everything listed out in case you did want every single item that I'm gonna be talking about today. So it's a really fun and interactive bucket list and I love it so much and I had so much fun creating it for you so I hope you like it. So I have my phone out and I, I'm, I'm serious, I have so many things. Uh, so I'm just gonna go down the list. It's not in any particular order. The first thing is to visit a holiday market. I mentioned this in last week's video, but holiday markets are my favorite things to do during this time of year, especially if you're in the New York area. If not, it's totally fine. You can definitely look up local holiday markets in whatever area that you're in. But essentially holiday markets are these posts or booths that are all lined up in one area of whatever town that you're in and they have a bunch of small shops local shops there are booths for hot cider donuts hot cocoa all of the festive things so that you can buy really nice and unique gifts while also having an experience while you're at the market so highly recommend you do something like that and if you are in the new york area there are tons of them all over manhattan next thing on my list is to get a bowl of ramen it is ramen season Get yourself a really nice bowl of ramen. And I'm not talking about, you know, the, the one that you pour hot water into. I'm talking about a legit bowl of warm and comforting ramen. And <laughs> the reason why this comes directly onto my list is because I had a bit of a tradition when I was living in New York where Ian and I would go to the holiday market and right after we went to the holiday market, we would have lunch at a ramen spot. So that is why it's on my list, but it is ramen season. So definitely take advantage of that because ramen is delicious and if you need some vegan ramen spots if you need uh, recommendations on that leave a comment below and i will answer that next thing on the list is to get a christmas tree if you uh celebrate christmas or you just want to decorate a tree you don't have to celebrate christmas uh to have a tree and decorate it if you want to do your thing next on the list i mentioned this in the last video is to do a wintry hike now i know that sounds strange to do hiking when it's super cold outside but for me personally i don't like to do hikes when it's super hot i get overwhelmed it's super sweaty and gross and for me if i can bundle up in some nice like winter gear and just take a simple hike nothing too intense I personally love that. You get to enjoy the weather without feeling too cold. Next on the list is pretty lavish if you do not live in this area, but it is to visit New York City um, if you are able to. I know it's probably super expensive to travel to New York City during this time of year, but if you're in the area, if you could do a road trip, that would be awesome. Or maybe sometime in the future you can plan a really nice trip to new york city during this time of year i highly recommend it there is nothing like new york during the holidays it is super magical if you've seen home alone 2 it's magical i feel like it does really feel like that in real life at least when it comes to christmas time next is to hide out in the cabin in the woods you all know i'm a big fan of doing this and it's magical to do it during the winter time i don't know if i've mentioned this before but the first time i ever went to the getaway house which are those tiny cabins in the woods that i frequent often i've done videos on this on the channel my first visit there was during the winter time and when we reached there it was super cold we sat by the fire it was so cozy and amazing and then the next morning we woke up we pulled the curtain up from that gigantic window that they are known to have and it was snowing 
and it was just the most magical thing I have ever experienced. If you can experience something like that as well, definitely recommend. Next is to roast marshmallows. Why not? It sounds like the perfect activity, and then you could top your marshmallows onto hot cocoa. Uh, in the same realm, sit by a fire, whether that may be outside or inside, whether it may be a real fire or a faux fire, whatever it may be, sitting by the fire during the winter time is just the coziest thing. Read under blankets. This is something that became a top comment on a recent Instagram post that I did. A lot of people commented what their favorite cozy activity is, and so many people said reading under blankets and getting super cozy with a good book, so had to include that on this list. Next is to make hot cocoa. I specifically wrote down maybe a new recipe, maybe try something unique that you've never tried before. Next is something that I mentioned last week. It is a holiday platter party. I'm not sure if it's actually called a platter party, but if you've been on TikTok, you might have seen people who are hosting parties where everyone brings a spread of something. And I thought it would be a cool idea to do it holiday themed. So one person can bring a hot cocoa spread, another person can bring a cookie spread, another person can bring candy cane spread, stuff like that, and just have a little tiny holiday party or gathering if you are comfortable and able to do that. Next is to find vintage cards slash postcards slash local cards from like a local store to send to your family and friends. I don't know if I am a huge fan of those mass-produced Christmas cards that you can get for like a dollar at some stores. I feel like there's a lot more personality and sustainability behind getting something that's vintage. Maybe you shop at a local store and they like very carefully curated the cards that they get to stock into their store. I feel like that's a lot more special and it means a lot more. And yeah, I feel like if I were to receive a vintage postcard as opposed to like a generic Christmas card during this time of year, that would mean so much to me. Next is to bake cookies. Of course, you've got to do that during this time of year. And of course, build a gingerbread house. This is something I personally will not be doing. Not a fan of gingerbread, but if you're down to do that, totally do that. Next is to have a wintry photo shoot. For all my friends who love to post on the gram, now is the best time, like if it's snowing or if you have your decorations up, you can get a really cute and festive photo going on or photo shoot, so definitely do that. Next is to donate to shelters or participate in community service. Next is to watch holiday movies if you're a fan of that. Uh, my personal favorite is Home Alone 2, obviously, uh, but I also like Elf. I um, also like The Grinch. Next is a self-care day, so some people might be on their holiday breaks and have a whole day to themselves, maybe hopefully more than just a day to themselves, and why not do some self-care? Just indulge and do face masks and sit around and laze, do whatever makes you feel most happy, you know, give back to yourself. Next is to do some backyard camping. Now, I feel like the word camping is the wrong word I use here but basically what I mean is like sit out back and maybe have a bonfire if it's possible and wrap yourselves up in some blankets get really warm and cozy while sitting outside maybe have a cup of cocoa and just sit maybe with company and have a really nice and quiet peaceful night next is to make a snowman I guess that only applies to people who get snow during this time of year if not sorry next is to do sledding ice skating and snowboarding this is also kind of exclusive to people who live in cold climates but I have heard of some indoor options. So just take a look in your local area and see what you can find. Next is to put up fairy lights. I just feel like fairy lights and wintertime, they just go hand in hand. Another thing is to try a puzzle. I feel like we have a lot more time on our hands during the holidays because we get some days off, I'm hoping, for my friends and family and <laughs> viewers out there. Maybe there's a time to try a puzzle. Just feel like that's a nice family or couple thing to do when you're kind of cooped up inside and you want to stay warm and cozy. Next is to make a big batch of soup slash chili. Next is to reflect on the year, if you feel comfortable doing that. And in that same realm, start a new journal kit. During this time of year, I like to get ready for the new year right before January starts, or you can do this in the beginning of January. And I get myself like a nice bullet journal set up going on if I need to restock on some pens or sticky notes or highlighters and things like that. I'll go pick them up if I need to get a new bullet journal. I'll pick that up as well and just have a nice clean start to planning and productivity. Next is to drive around and look at decorations. I plan on doing that this year. Now that I'm living in the suburbs, there are lots more decorations in my vicinity. Next is caroling. I put this on the list because it, it's something that people do or did. I don't know if people still do that. If you're comfortable with it, go ahead and get out there and do some caroling or sit at home and just sing along 
to some of your favorite songs. Next is to stay in all day. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be doing that because it's cold. And if it's not cold, still try doing the practice and stay at home all day and try to make some fun things happen while you're at home. You have a huge list here, so you can definitely get yourself occupied. Next is to play cozy games. I have a video on this. Um, I will link it down below. If you wanna check out some games that I'm really interested in that are cozy but also spooky, most of them are spooky, sorry. <laughs> Next is a secret Santa slash white elephant. So if you are having any gatherings, um, this is a great idea to have fun with your family or friends. Secret Santa is essentially like you have a raffle and you pick someone's name and then you get a gift for that person. They don't know who is getting what for who. So it's a, it's a secret basically and there's like a budget to that. White Elephant is more so like a game. You have a budget, you get a gift, you show up to the gathering or an event and uh, you start swapping gifts. It's, there's like a whole thing to it, look it up, but that one's much more interactive. Next is to drink eggnog while listening to Christmas music. We do this every year when we're decorating the house and we have a record player. So we like to put on the Christmas records and make it super vintage and cozy and just sip on eggnog and have a quiet decorating session. Next is to do some DIY gifts. Now if it's too late, at this point for you to be doing any DIY gifts. Uh, I feel like you still have some time. You have like about a week or so. You can definitely do that. There are so many different things that you could do, but if you aren't uh, wanting to do a DIY gift, I would recommend doing a DIY gift to yourself. So maybe it's like a self-care item. I used to do uh, lip scrubs during this time of year because obviously it's super useful for cold seasons, but I used to make like vanilla bean scrubs or peppermint scrubs and I would keep them for myself and use them during the winter time. And I, I loved giving a gift to myself, especially something that I, I made from scratch. Next is to get a festive mug. For me, as someone who drinks a warm beverage every single day, it's just nice to have a festive mug to put me in that festive spirit, especially if it's like a work day or something and I'm not pretty much in the mood to be festive. At least I have that holiday mug at my side to make things a little bit more joyful. <laughs> it's the little things. Next is to do a little mini library. I think that's what it's called, but essentially it's like these little posts, outposts, that you can do in front of your home or maybe at the corner of your block or something like that. And it has like open doors. It looks like a birdhouse almost, but it's larger, obviously. And you fill it in with books that you don't want and you could do like a take one, leave one sort of situation, leave a sign at the front and then people can browse through this little mini library. They can take a book and they can read it and they can return it, or they can take a book, read it, and then take a book from their own shelf and put it into the library so that everybody in your community can have a really nice book to read. Next thing is to do a bit of a haul at local shops. It's the best time of year to be shopping locally. During this time of year, it is critical and crucial for small businesses to make some sales. And sometimes during this time of year, they can make an entire year's worth of revenue just from this. So go check out some local stores. You can see them in the holiday markets and just shop at a bunch of local places. You can get small things. You don't have to spend all your money, but just getting a little bit of stocking stuffers can make a difference to the small shops around you. I actually have a little bit of a haul over there, over there <laughs> on my desk. And the last thing is to create your own winter slash holiday tradition. I started this video off by saying that some people are just not about this time of year and there are many reasons for why that may be. So I think it's important for us as individuals to make our own traditions even if it's not holiday forward, even if it's not festive, maybe a tradition of your own, something that makes you happy as an individual will help you during this time of year. I'm not a professional, but I just feel like small things like that can maybe be helpful during a tough time. Or if you know, like you're adulting and you want to start creating your own traditions and start developing your life as an adult, or even if you're not an adult, it doesn't matter. Just creating your own traditions makes things a lot more special to you and get creative with it. And if you need some help, if you want some support, and if you need some ideas, I'm full of them. So leave a comment down below and I would be more than happy to be that buddy with you in your DMs during this time of year. Whew, okay, that was quite a bit of a list. <laughs> I hope you like this list. I had a great time coming up with all the things. I'm sure that I missed a bunch of things. So let me know if I missed something, but you really, really want to share it. 
put it in the comments and I will add it actually to that Notion. All of these things are listed in that Notion template. It's free to use. You just click on the link in my description box. It'll take you to the Notion website and then you just have to copy it, paste it. It's yours. I just hope that you have a really great season and sending lots of love, sending lots of good vibes and cozy energy your way. And thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it if you made it this far. If you did, it would mean a lot to me if you hit subscribe. I will talk to you in next week's video.